Hello there, my name is Valerie White Williams and I am a voice teacher and a vocal coach for Vocal Splendor Studios. Today I'm doing another reaction video. This time I'm reacting to Nicki Minaj performing Grand Piano Live. Let's have a listen. Okay, I'm gonna stop right now. Now, to be honest, I have not really followed Nicki Minaj. I know she's a rapper. To be honest, I haven't really paid a lot of attention. I've seen some of her things, but I, I really don't know much about her. And people have said I need to react to Nicki because she can really sing. So, so far I feel this is a really inward focused performance. And what I'm seeing so far is a nicely placed voice. So let's keep going. I mean, that's a really nicely placed voice and she's got that stage presence and focus that's selling this song. And she is command of the stage as well. So, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I did not expect that and unfortunately this obviously was like a fan cam and here I finally got the sound, the great sound with SoundCloud with my Mac. So, oh well. <laughs> 
the quality was not the greatest, but it was really fun to see her in a different way. Because I'm just used to seeing her doing like really loud, gaudy things and you know, lots of rapping. And you know, I love rap ears. I like them when they're communicating. I'm not always super fan of over the top, you know, look at me stuff. Um, but, um, you know, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Nikki, but I thought she did a really credible job. I was a little bit wondering how much the voices, because there seems to be several people singing along with her, and some of it was harmony and some of it was other, and obviously at the end, that was not her singing. It was somebody else, and she was like in that moment. But I did see some training and some great voice and good stage presence and a nice instrument because I think to rap well you really have to use the voice and I've always said that about rappers I'm not the voice teacher that's going to ignore the rappers because they are using their voice in an athletic way too they're just not singing pitches but they have to stay on their breath they have to really have a really good mix in their voice so they can be in that middle you know snappy tone and they also have to do a lot of what I call catch breaths. So they have to stay on the rhythm. So you have to really be clean with your voice. You can blow your voice out so easily if you're not using the breath in a way that you can constantly get some more steam and also have your voice pitched in a way that's comfortable. Because with, with rapping, and singing like that, we want to keep everything in this snappy middle, like mm, one, and talking like that. So everything feels really strong in that way. So that's the difference for rappers. Now, I love it when rappers sing because I think they add so much more. Not like they have to be amazing singers, like some of the BTS guys, <laughs> they can do everything. But I, I like it. I like a little singing mixed with rapping and I also don't mind rappers having singers sing with them you know, like Macklemore does but yeah I was surprised to see Nicki Minaj that way she seemed very princess like very understated not what I expected and from watching some of the comments on this video so many people think well, she should do more of that so maybe she will it looks like this video was from 2015 so it's it's a long ways away but she can sing and she can do use her voice that way she just chooses not to but hey that's what artists are. They do what they feel like they should do. So hey, more power to her. So all right, any other you Nicki Minaj, I say it, Nicki Minaj fans, um, if you like this video and you want more, let me know. I'm I'm not opposed to doing more Nicki Minaj. As long as yeah. So so let me know in the comments below if there's something else you think I should listen to or any other rappers. I'm 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 game. Okay. And also, I want to let you know that I am teaching online at this crazy time with COVID and shutdowns. I've been teaching online since 2011. Yeah, that long. So I've worked with people all over the world, from beginners to professionals. I've worked with rappers too. And I've worked with people from rock to rappers to opera singers. So if you're inter interested in the lessons, go to my website at vocalsplendor.com. I also have two new free projects that I am working with people on Facebook and they're free Facebook groups. My first Facebook group is called Creative Soul Alignment and it's a group to foster creativity and spirituality as how it works together. So I have a lot of really cool people from all over the world from my YouTube channel. And then my second project is called YouTube Success Strategies. It's also a free Facebook group and I'm offering some free training on YouTube, how to build your channel and gain clients because I've created my first online course called YouTube Client Generation and it's my experience getting clients from my YouTube channel. And so I have what I call strategies. I've got several pillars of how to gain clients, how to get content that people like, and how to get subscribers and grow. So I'm really excited for that. This is kind of me stepping into the YouTube coach version, but it's not an unfamiliar place for me because I did study marketing and business in college, and I also learned to do online websites. I taught myself way 
HTML back in the old days. And so it's kind of a continuation of what I've always been doing with marketing myself and now with YouTube and helping people succeed in YouTube. So if you want any more information, it's in the descriptions. And I look forward to doing more videos for you guys. All right, take care. Bye.